Good morning, guys. I am back today with part two of how I style my new cut. And today we're gonna to be doing it in the more spiky PC style. Now, it's still a little different than my original style. And yes, I'm with many of you, I kind of miss that. So when I miss that spiky style, this is how I style it. If you've not seen my new cut in color, my last salon visit, I'll link it for you down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as always, we're gonna be starting off by just combing through the hair. And I am gonna be using all of my favorite products. Just again, like in my last tutorial, in slightly different ways. So to start off, I am going to apply the Catwalk Root Boost. So this has been a favorite product of mine. And before, with my old style, I would apply it basically in this entire back section. But because the nape of my neck is a little bit more blunt cut, I've been styling that part differently. So we're just gonna put this from about three quarters of the way down on up to the crown. And if you're not familiar with this product, it just provides really good lift and hold so that as you're drying your hair, it kind of helps the hair stay in the direction that you dry it. <laughs> All right, next is the Acure Argon Oil. And I've been using about one and a half pumps to two pumps of that since I've had my hair highlighted. In my last hair tutorial, I also mentioned all of the additional um, products that I've been using that really help keep my hair moisturized and soft after a heavy highlight like I had last time. So again, I'll link that tutorial for you down below. Just working this all the way through and then as I get to this front section, um, this time I am going to be wearing my hair over to the side that it is cut, over to my normal side. So I'm gonna really kind of comb the hair in that direction. And again, just working that oil all the way through my hair. And then here on the sides, just kind of pulling that down. Okay, so now it's time for the blow dryer. And I am gonna be doing a mix of kind of flipping my hair over but when I get to this back section, this part I am not going to be fully flipping up. It just doesn't look quite right. So I'll show you how I'm changing that up. So let's get started. watched my hair tutorials before you'll already see a big difference as far as the front you can see how long this section is but I'm really enjoying kind of having this front section longer but you can tell right here I mean right now it's not quite my style if you know what I mean so let's make it a little more PC and just a little more modern so to do that I'm gonna take first my flat iron and I just need to 
um, kind of soften these little edges, work out any curls, because you can see I've got just some fun cowlicks here at the front, don't we all, at some place in our hair. And I have turned my flat iron down um, about 20 degrees to 350. So um, after I've had my hair heavily highlighted, I tried to do as many things as possible to help it recover. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to further straighten this section. And then because the back is more blunt cut so that it can lay down flatter, it also changes how it spikes. So you can kind of see it doesn't quite want to do this. So I'm going to take the flat iron through those sections, kind of help it go in this direction. And then, of course, our next product is really going to help. Now on the sides, I'm going to pull these down and these are a little flatter and shorter than previously, but I'm going to pull those down and then again I'm going to just pull the flat iron through the hair just to further straighten it and flip this back up just a little bit. And then here on top, I just like to add a little extra volume. And so I'll just grab the hair and pull through and twist over. And that just kind of helps the hair give a have a little more volume and direction. And this front section, need a little extra help as well because I'm a wonderful cowlick. So now that I'm pretty happy with um, how the hair, the direction the hair is going, I'm going to go in now with my Enjoy Dry Wax. You all know this is my favorite product. If you've never tried it and you have a PC style or you want to make your hair look more PC, this is going to be your best friend. So I am applying, for starters, um, probably a large pea size. And with this, you want to really rub it between your hands to warm it up. You can also use your blow dryer to help warm it up, but I'm kind of lazy. I just use my hands. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to, again, like I normally do, starting at the back, but I'm not going in this bottom section just yet with the wax. We're going to work it here, and then in the front, as I did with my straight style, I'm really kind of scrubbing this wax into the roots making little circles, kind of combing in the opposite direction, and then combing back over. And again, I think this helps just give a little more body. And since this front section's a little longer, a little thicker, I just kind of am enjoying this look. All right, then here on the sides, I'm just gonna pull what's left of that wax kind of through these sides here. And now down on this bottom part right here, I am going to, we are going to leave it kind of uh, curving around the neck, but you know, I don't want it like just flat and boring. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little texture by just putting a little bit of this wax on and then kind of pulling and twisting the hair around. And I'm going to take a little more wax through the crown. I have my handy mirror. Check out the back here. 
Now it's time to hit it with some hairspray. This is my Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. And again, as always, just short bursts. And through this front section, I am going to kind of take my fingers and piece a couple sections so that it just gives it a little more of a textured look. And then here on top, rather than really forcing the, the spikes going kind of back, I'm actually kind of pulling them forward because this front section is quite a bit longer. Um, I'm kind of liking the look of having these kind of lay down and gradually start spiking up. So as I'm spraying it, I'm going to kind of pull these sections down just a little bit. And again here on the sides, even though this is more of a blunt cut over the ears, the way we used that wax, and I'm pinching this hairspray in, it's still giving it a little more of a PC look there. more of our hairspray up here because you know we don't want our hair going anywhere all day right <laughs> and here we go here is our finished look so to the untrained eye this looks very similar to my original style but this is with the new cut that I got in my previous visit. So as you can see, the main differences are right here on the side. Normally I have enough hair to kind of pull this out and spike all of this right here. It's also cut in a more fringier style normally, whereas right here, this is a little more, um, kind of more blunt cut straight, straight edge here. Um, but, and in the front, I'm actually really enjoying having this front section a little bit heavier and longer. So I might keep that and still work back in a little of my old style. But for those of you who maybe weren't a fan of having so much fringe and stuff back here, maybe this is another option for you to try. All right guys, so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you and fun. Those of you who want some ideas of how to change up your style, hopefully this gave you some new ideas. And if you've not seen any of my other hair tutorials, I will link those in the description box below, along with all of the products that I used in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber on my channel, I would love to have you here. Hit that button below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.